Get your play mat today at tsx1.com. So, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Samurai X1. Happy Tuesday! Guys, Sniff Gang members, please, please spam the Happy Tuesday emoji. Please, I beg you. I need that to happen, all right? Anyways, if you guys want to be part of Sniff Gang, links in the description box below. There's a join button where you guys can join my channel membership. All right, guys, Sniff Gang, we're staying strong. We're about 70 Sniff Gang members, so we're trying to grow that to a very, very big community here on YouTube. So, guys, join Sniff Gang down below. Anyways, I got an interesting question for you guys. Can anime decks become good? Okay, you guys already know. There are a bunch of anime decks out there. We got Dark Magicians, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician Girl, Red Eyes, a bunch of old school anime decks. And the question that the Yu-Gi-Oh! community always has is, are these decks competitively viable? Hmm. Most oftentimes they're a little bit, <laughs> but hey, in Blazing Vortex, we're getting Dark Arm, uh, Dark Arm Thunder. The original Dark Arm Dragons, you guys already seen Dark Arm three, five, seven, and 10 aren't really the greatest dark arms, in my opinion. But now, they got transformed into Arm Dragon Thunder. So now we got level three, level five, number seven, and last but not least, number 10. And the question is, are these cards better? Man, just let me know your guys' thoughts about retrain anime decks in the comments section below, because I love to hear your thoughts, man. For those of you on the channel for the very first time, consider hitting the subscribe button, make sure you guys turn on. <laughs> Turn on the notification bell, it'll be absolutely amazing. Don't forget to break the bubble. That thumbs up button for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, man. Hey, like go. 2,000 plus likes on this video, man. All right, guys, let's get started with today's video. All right, guys, welcome to this brand new video called Can Anime Decks or Anime Retrain Decks actually compete so there are a bunch of anime decks out there that has gotten retrained or revamped whatever you guys want to call it they usually have their original counterparts like i talked to you guys earlier when it comes to arm dragon level 10 now we got arm dragon thunder lightning or zeus or uh, thor arm dragon thor level i want to test out in today's video how great or how bad these decks really are. So I'm gonna go first with this deck and I'll speak to you guys what the deck does. And so a huge shout out to you seen. If you guys wanna check out this deck profile, make sure you guys check out the deck profile in the description box below. You guys already know you seen breaks every single deck that comes out and I'm super glad to be collabing with him once again. So if you guys are interested, check it out in the link in the description box below. So we got Arm Dragon Thunder, level five. We got Komodo Dragon, AKA Charmander. We got Arm Dragon Lightning, we got Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, and also Arm Dragon Thunder Level 3. So, what does this deck do? It's basically a retrained, revamped version of the original Arm Dragon. So, if you guys haven't noticed, Arm Dragon Level 3, the original, Arm Dragon Level 5, Arm Dragon Level 7, and last but not least, Arm Dragon Level 10. And they're one of the most iconic Yu-Gi-Oh monsters when it comes to the level mechanic of Yu-Gi-Oh. First and foremost, with this hand right now, analyzing the situation, I think the most basic play is a Summon Kid Motor Dragon right here. If you guys don't know what this card ability is, and whenever this card is sent to the graveyard, you basically get the special and a dragon monster from your hand. So we're gonna link off Kid Motor Dragon to the grave, to Summon Striker Dragon, and Yasin was the one that actually came out with this combo right here with Kid Motor Dragon, splashing it inside Arm Dragon Thunder. This card is just amazing. It makes the deck so much better, uh, in my personal opinion. So we're gonna activate Kid Motor Dragon's effect. We basically get a special summon Arm Dragon Monster from our hand. We have the option to summon Thunder Level 5 or Thunder Level 3. For this situation with the hand that we have, I wanna try to get a level 10 as quickly as possible. So we're gonna summon level 5. And level 5 is really amazing because if you guys don't know what these cards ability, the huge difference that these cards have to the original counterparts, these cards can special summon the level up higher directly during your turn and during your main phase. You can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. So in this instance, we're gonna send the level three to the grave. And when level three is sent to the graveyard, you're gonna draw one card, which is amazing, right? So the level five is gonna get access to level seven. So special so level seven directly from the deck. And now Arm Dragon Thunder level three is gonna activate its effect to draw one card. So you guys already see the huge difference between its original counterparts because those guys, I believe they activate an end phase. Since now Arm Dragon level three was sent to the graveyard to activate a dragon monster's ability, you get to activate level three's effect to draw one card. <laughs> Yo, honestly guys, if I'm gonna be drawing like this, I might as well just play Exodia. <laughs> activate Gold Star's effect. 
We're gonna banish Tempest, and you guys all know what happens when Tempest gets banished. Since the entire deck is Wind Dragons, you gotta activate Tempest effect. We're gonna search another copy of level seven directly from our deck to our hand, which is really good. So Tempest will come back in two turns, which is really good. And now what we can do is that we can activate level seven's ability to send his card to the graveyard, okay? To special him at level 10 directly from the deck. Okay, and now we activate level seven's effect since it's sent to the graveyard. You basically get to search directly from your deck to your hand. So we're gonna search the Arm Dragon Flash, which is the quick launch for the deck. And the reason why I'm searching Arm Dragon Flash is because we're gonna activate Flash right now. We're gonna special on level three from the deck. And now using level three and also the Striker Dragon, we're gonna make Hieratic Seal, which is amazing. And now we're gonna activate Arm Dragon Lightning. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna activate Lightning to target the level 10. And we're gonna add back a level three directly from our graveyard to our hand. So that way that we have an interruption during your, our opponent's turn with Arm Dragon level 10, which is pretty nice. So this is our mini board setup right here. It is not as terrifying as all the other negate decks out there, but in comparison to what this deck does, to its original counterpart. So the retrained version of this anime deck, I believe is a little bit better. Arm Dragon level 10 has a huge flaw where it needs to send a face up Arm Dragon level seven from the field to the graveyard. So that's the original Arm Dragon level 10. But this card now is super easy to get access to, way easier than the original counterpart because you can just easily special level seven and level seven has a base ability to special level 10 by just sending a monster to the graveyard, which is amazing, right? So we're gonna Ash the, of course, the Kowloon. Very essential to Ash that. Uh, we're playing against Virtual World, so we're playing against something meta, which is really amazing. So Foolish Goods. Hmm. So we have three interruptions right here. Uh, one interruption of Hieratic Seal, one interruption of Thunder, and one interruption of the Ash, which is pretty good. And the really good thing about Lightning is that it's gonna be able to revive us back, Arm Dragon and Thunder level three from our Graveyard to our hand every single turn. So we have fodder to just discard for our Arm Dragon level 10. What I'm gonna wait for is for him to actually put monsters on the field uh, so I can actually bounce back and destroy them using Hieratic Seal and also the Thunder level 10. If summons GG, I'm gonna wait till Nyan Nyan touches the field. And what we can do is that uh, what we can do is that we can actually activate Thunder level 10 to pop the GG and I think a good play will be Hieratic Seal to bounce back the Nian Yen. and the really good thing about this combo play right here is number one I get to draw off level 3 so we get to draw off level 3 which is amazing so we are gonna pop the GG and then we get to chain Hieratic Seal to bounce Nian Yen. and the reason why I'm doing this is because Nian Yen has ability where it reads that if it leaves the field, you banish the card. So, banishes when it leaves the field. Look, it says on YGO Pro, which is amazing. So we're gonna bounce that. So it obviously doesn't bounce the hand. Uh, it's gonna be banished instead because it uses ability to revive itself, right? So now we're gonna use Seal's effect, and we're also gonna trigger off Arm Dragon Thunder Level 3's ability. Helps us draw one card. Now we're gonna use Hieratic Seal. We can special summon the level seven uh, directly for the deck, which is really, really good. And then we can use Lightning to just trigger out level seven to special summon level 10 from the deck again. And it just does an amazing, amazing synergy plays during the following turn, which is really good. So Dragon Punishment and Ghost Bell is really great. What we can do is that we can activate Lightning. Okay, we can target the level 10. Now we can add an Arm Dragon Monster from our Graveyard to our hand. And we're gonna add, of course, the level seven. Okay, so we're at a level seven uh, right here. And now we're gonna activate, of course, level seven to discard the level seven to special level 10 directly from the deck again. So special level 10. Okay, and now we're gonna activate level seven's ability to search the Arm Dragon Flash. Okay, and, and I think we pretty much have game unless he has anything to interrupt us right here. We're gonna go Flash, special summon, of course, level three directly from the deck. And now we're gonna activate level three to pitch this to special on level five. It's way better than the original counterpart for sure because they're able to do these plays during the main phase uh, and we can actually push for a game here, uh, which is really nice. So this is a total of 9,400 damage to our opponent. If he has nothing, we pretty much have game. So we you know, we beat Virtual Worlds right here. I, I gotta say that we got pretty lucky uh, when it comes to making this board right here. We had three interruptions on the very first turn. The pops are really good. Hieratic Seal is really good. The way that this deck is built, it's kind of like a control aggressive type variation that you've seen created. The, the control aspect of the deck is obviously with cards like Punishment and you're playing the deer in the deck because you're not really focused on actually special main monsters from the extra deck. The deck does have a lot of extra deck plays, which is amazing, but originally we're trying to control the board with a level 10. And level 10 has a unique ability because it has three effects. So it says that this card names becomes Arm Dragon level 10, 10 plus attacks, possession of this card cannot be switched, 100 plus attack, cannot be destroyed by battle, so 
since it originally comes out as 3,000, you can kill this by battle, and it has a thousand plus once per turn. You can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, target one other card in the field destroyed, head of you, this card gains a thousand attack. And last but not least, this effect isn't the greatest, I don't think. It's very gimmicky, kind of like an anime style, but it says 10,000 plus attacks, once per turn you can destroy all other cards in the field. That effect doesn't really come up at all. The effect that you're gonna use the most is the one that lets you discard a card to basically pop a card on the field, which is amazing, right? So if you wanna play this deck as an anime style deck, you can just basically keep using lightning to give this card like an, a, a thousand boost every single time, but I felt like that's not efficient. If you guys see on the screen right now, we got level three, five, seven, and 10. Uh, these are the four original dark arm monsters. And when it comes to the Yu-Gi-Oh anime, like I said, guys, the retrain variant of this deck is a little bit better than the old school version. It has a ton of more plays, but is this deck competitive, right? Can this deck actually compete? Well, you guys see with the hand right here, I drew the nuts. So in some cases, yes, it can compete, but can it be top tier? Can it go from tier 10 to, you know, tier one uh, with the release of these cards? In my honest opinion, I don't think it can. I think the deck is very fun. I think his deck is very cool on casual play. It can compete depending on the cards that you have in your hand, but that's like with every single deck, right? It depends on how you properly deck build and how you properly draw with your opening hands. In my case right here, I drew the nuts and I was able to send uh, this Meta Sheep guy. Yeah, he is a Meta Sheep because he's playing Virtual Worlds to the Shadow Realm with his deck. So it's really fun to see these anime decks in action in my personal opinion. So it's very awesome, man. I, I, I think it's okay. I think it's fun, but in comparison to its original counterparts, it's just way, way better because you're able to activate these cards on main phase and they activate their effects whenever they get used by a dragon monster. This one searches. Like all, all the armed dragon monsters does something whenever they're sent to the graveyard. So this one right here, you can um, you can add one level five or higher dragon win monster directly from your deck to your hand. So a level five can search Tempest. Uh, level three helps you draw a card. Level seven helps you search any arm card directly from your deck to your hand. These are big beefy monsters that can actually kill your opponent. Unlike the arm dragon level ten original monsters, where it says this card cannot be normal summon. This card cannot be special summon except by tributing one arm dragon level seven. You can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, destroy all face up monster point controls. Like it's harder to summon. It's not as efficient as Arm Dragon Thunder level 10. Uh, I feel like these counterparts are just way, way better in my opinion. So let me know what your guys' thoughts about this deck in the comment section below. To put it in perspective, it negs a lot. You guys see with the amount of cards that I discarded, yes, you gain the resources back with cards like Lightning. You still have to discard cards every single time to the graveyard to just trigger off something. Huge shout out to your scene. Hope you see him get a 20,000 subscribers, guys, man. I want to see him reach 20K. I know my Team Samrix One gang will help him get there. And guys, this week, like I said, I launched my channel membership. Um, if you guys want to join the Sniff Gang, channel membership in the description box below. Cost you guys $2 a month for you guys to join this, uh, you know, little community that I got going over here. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy Sam from Team Star Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace. Sure to get your playmat today at tsx1.com.